A range of issues. One of them is how we teach communication skills uh, because the, the best way of teaching communication skills from what we know to date is really face to face actually doing it, doing speak, one person speaking to another, getting feedback in a safe environment where they can try out a whole lot of different strategies. But that is very, uh, not very cost effective, it's difficult to get people together. So online training is, is the future perhaps and uh, one of the things that I've been talking about is whether that's feasible and whether it will be effective. We need to replicate in some ways what you can do face to face. So there's been some very clever strategies that people have been trying. For example, showing people videos of communication and getting them to reflect on where things are going well and where things are going badly and where they might say something differently. So getting them to engage with the material, not just being passive and watching it, but actually thinking about what they could do to improve it and then getting feedback from other people as well. Discussing prognosis is a challenge both to the patient and to the health professional, but it's so important for decision making and planning for the future that uh, we really need to find ways to help both clinicians and patients come to terms with prognosis. So the sorts of strategies that we have are around um, making sure that you ask patients whether they are ready um, for a prognostic discussion, do they want to discuss prognosis and what sort of things do they want to discuss and then tailoring the consultation to their preferences. Uh, because some people are ready to talk about these things and some people aren't. And having uh, got their permission to discuss it, then being quite honest, but also acknowledging the uncertainty around prognosis, because it always is uncertain, and not forgetting the compassion part of it, because these things are critically important to patients. I think, you know, some of the thinking around this is that we can do certain, a certain amount online, but we'll probably have to supplement that with some face-to-face -face experience where people can try different strategies out with actors and getting feedback. But the online, as I said, um, has, has started to be explored with some quite creative solutions to allow it to get people to practice quite complicated skills like discussing prognosis.